In the last chapter of Luke, which is chapter 24, for those of you that are keeping score, there is an incredible story. In fact, it is one of my favorite stories in the entire Bible. Jesus has died and he has, has risen from the dead. He has beaten death, but not everybody knows it yet. And there are two men who, two of his disciples that are taking a little road trip. They're taking a little walk. They are just, just kind of depressed about what has happened. They're discouraged. They feel a little beat up. So they're going to take a walk. And they take this seven mile road trip. And they're going from Jerusalem to a town called Emmaus. And they're just, as they walk, they're just talking back and forth and just kind of, can you believe this happened? I can't. And they're joined by a stranger. Suddenly somebody shows up and starts walking with them. It's actually Jesus, but they don't recognize him. In verse 15, it says this, While they were talking, Jesus catches up to them and begins walking with them. But for some reason, they didn't recognize them. I, I wonder how many times, how often God is walking with us all along and we don't recognize him. Hmm, I just, I wonder. And Jesus is, is asking them and he's like, hey, hey guys, what's up? What are you guys talking about? And they're like, haven't you heard? Where have you been? And you just, just, you're probably the only person that doesn't know what's happened. We, Jesus was killed and put in the grave and, and he was supposed to, to rise again. And some, some of our friends say that he has, but we're just not so sure. We don't think it's happened. We think this is over. We th think the dream has died. We think it's, it's, you know, it's, it's history. And, and Jesus is asking them and he's like, why are your hearts so sluggish? Why do you have sluggish hearts? And he starts explaining things and he starts just, just laying it out. And he starts, this is what prophecy says. This is what, what this looks like. This is what is going to happen. And, and he ends up, and they still don't recognize him at this point. And he goes home with them and he sits down at their table. They still don't recognize him. And he sits down for dinner and they, he takes some bread and he thanks it. Thanks God for it. He, he blesses the bread and then he breaks the bread and then boom, they recognize him suddenly. Two things happen. They recognize him and then he disappears. And in verse 32, they say this, they're, they're looking at each other and they're like, weren't our hearts on fire within us while he was talking to us on the road? Didn't our hearts burn as he talked to us, something happens as you spend time with Jesus. You are ignited. Your heart is set ablaze and you become a part of the fellowship of the burning heart. You will never be the same. And I love this story so much. It inspired me to do two things. First thing was this. I got a tattoo. Okay. One of my tattoos is inspired by this story. It's right here on my arm and I'm trying to contort myself so that you can see it. It is a burning heart. Because I've spent time with Jesus and he has ignited me and I will never be the same. Second thing that it inspired me to do was write a poem. Believe it or not, I am a poet. <laughs> uh, who would have thought? And, and I want to read that poem to you and it says this. It just basically the fact that God has given me heartburn. I bear on my body the mark, the mark of the burning heart. Engraved in my skin and engraved still deeper into my heart is the symbol of the eternal flame. I have joined the most sacred of orders, the fellowship of the burning heart. It is made up of those who have felt their hearts strangely warmed and failures forgiven. Those who have touched God and found themselves forever changed and consumed by unexplainable fire. The broken heart is transformed into the burning heart. Though at first I didn't recognize him, in time, I came to know the Christ is the only one who could set my life aflame. I have felt the heat of his presence. Fire is light. Fire is life. I have been ignited. I glow in the dark. I bear on my body the mark, the mark of the burning heart. God bless you guys. Giddy up.